Yeah. Yeah, we go. What up? We ready. Yeah. You beat. Yo, what's problem on the rise? Yo, we love to get the money. This a podcast, you can catch us being funny. The year from seven to nine, we lady get lies. So stop everything, this is serious vibe. Catch us on the Wednesday, it's lady on the hump day. Listen in your car, got the beam on the Hyundai. Facebook Live, we live and direct. You can call and kick it with us since we start with respect. Yo, we're live the topics, we always got a pop it. You know we neighborhood, we always kick the knowledge, yeah. That's the steel line we do for the people. Flag it in the ego, we ordinary people. We be kicking in cause you know we live in there Come and catch the vibe cause it's live I'm a witness there We doubt for each other no matter the weather It's the beat one three nine cause how we stay together What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah What up, what up, what up? What up, what up, what up? Turn that phone off What up? That's your phone, baby Turn it off Put it on mute Yeah, 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 what up? Let's talk about it, come on, keep it going Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to the Beat 139. I'm Doc. Doc Vito, what's up? How y'all feeling? Yo, it's hot as a motherfucker today. <laughs> I love it out there like that. Wait, wait, wait. That's why you need this drink. Oh, That's man. Why why you, need that. you need an East Side Slammer. East Side you need an East Side Slammer. slammer. East Side Slammer. Okay. You need an East Side Slammer. Oh, we got an East Side Slammer. slammer. Yes. You want to yes. welcome Monique Jones, the owner of Mo Better Management LLC from Harlem in the building. What up, Mo? Hey, 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 you looking nice. I'm blessed. Got the I'm summer colors on and all that. Thank you. Kind of icy right here in the middle. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you just pulled out, though. Let's, let's talk about this real quick. Yeah, so um, I started selling drinks years ago when mm -hmm. Nutcrackers and all of that first came out. Right. And um, I said, let me switch up. I need to do my own thing, have my own lane, because I was selling Nutcrackers, mm -hmm. and I also had a drink that I called Purple Haze. And mm -hmm. My slogan was, "You smoke it, you might as well drink it." Right, right. So, <laughs> okay, okay. Then I came up with East Side Slammer. Mm -hmm. I made it one day for. Um, I used to give a midnight cookout. Mm -hmm. I made it for the midnight cookout. People loved them, and then I just started selling them. Mm -hmm. I've been selling them for about eight, nine years now. They could. And, and I, I like icy cold. I like how. Uh, the packages, it got the little punch hole. You guys probably can't see it. It has a little punch hole here. It says Eastside Slammer. You know what you get 12 ounce. And, you know, what yeah. you think about it, V? I mean, it's definitely well um, packaged and, you know, and it's cold. It's cold. I like cold. But I like to know what's up in this thing. Oh, it's a secret. It's a secret. secret. Oh, there it is. That's what I said. It's that. a secret. It's a secret recipe. <laughs> you know? Yeah. All right, so yes. I, so, no. Taste so it. how do I get up in there? Well, you know, <laughs> I'm going to be honest with y'all. These straws that we have are not the straws that I usually okay. um, give to my clients. The pointed. The pointed. The pointed. The pointed. 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 So you got to open it up. Open up in the middle. Open, open it up and the put the straw in there. So yeah. Just thanks for telling me what you think. So, um, so I slam them to get the taste of Doc and Don Vito. Yeah, this is this. Um, I heard about it. Oh man, that's what I want. Thanks. Does it taste that good? Mm. This is crazy. Nice, right? Yeah, I like that. Nice. Yes, yes. Mo favorite catering. So Mo, get back, get back, get back, get back. Drinks. Yes. I have to really go slow because I'll be, you know, stuttering. Be that bigger drinker than me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He built for it. Yeah, he built for it. Oh, me too. I will drink that drink. Yeah, man, you gotta take a shot. Yeah, I take my time. Yeah. Take time. Cause it yeah. tastes so good and you didn't fool you. Yeah, mm -hmm. fool. Cause I, I'm ready to take another sip, but I'm gonna have to just fall back. Cause the taste you just keep drinking like you're drinking a yeah, juice. Juice. Uh, yeah, juice. Yeah, next thing you know, you stumble. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Now I'm about to take a Uber home. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll give this to my yeah. kids. <laughs> so Mo, we were talking prior to the show. Mm -hmm. We came around the same era and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So we I want we want to take it and see, you know. How was life growing up as a young person in Harlem? So being that being you grew up around the same time, you saw a lot of good stuff about Harlem that's different than that. So let's talk about how you came up. I saw a lot of good stuff. And um, when I was coming up, we had um, block associations. And you know, in addition to giving a block party every summer, they also took us on bus rides. Mm -hmm. We had after school programs. Mm -hmm. We had, um, um, not only after school programs, but we had summer youth programs and yes. everyone from the community at that time 
Like it really was a village, yes, you it know. Was. It really was was a village, and we stuck together. Now, personally, I lived in every block from one thirty six to one fortieth. Mm -hmm. I could go in any block and was accepted. Mm -hmm. You know, I you know what I miss from back those days was the sense of community and the bonding. I feel like our children don't know each other now. That's true. And I believe yeah. that's where the balance comes yeah, in. Yeah. I believe that if men like you and him, you know, go and like hit, hit up somebody you might know from 114, yo, my son's the same age. Let's, let's get up so we can meet and, mm -hmm. you know, they can yeah. know each other. Yeah. Because half the times they have beef, they really don't know what it's about. Mm -hmm. And the parents know each other at that's the end true. of the day. Yeah, yeah. So that, that really gets to my heart that. You know, it's so much beats going on. Like, I still want to know what it's all about. Me too. You know? Yeah. And I, you know, I don't recall us ever, ever having that kind of animosity when we were young. It was different. Yeah. It was different. Like 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 you said, half the time, they don't even know why they beat them. Mm -hmm. Like, they get into these, right, like, it happens to drop it down. Like, a, a young guy I know, he telling me, he's like, yeah, I just had to just jump in the cab. He said, the guy was clearly starting with him. He said, the guy wants that gun on him, stand grilling him. He's going to the DMV. He said, the guy was grilling him. And then he looked past him, and the guy was like, I'm, I'm ready. Anybody can get it. I'm on go. Like, you don't even know him in this, in that fast. You know what I'm saying? And like, like you said, you don't know. They don't know where it come from. And then, you know, we got kids, like sons. Mm -hmm. I got an adult son. You got an adult son. He got an adult son. That's the scary part. Yeah. And the thing about it, though, you know, like you said, we stuck together mm -hmm. when we was young. Yeah. You know, my mother can whip your ass, and your mother can whip my ass. Yeah. And it was okay. Exactly. And then I go upstairs and then get my ass whipped again. <laughs> you know, but the, yeah. that wasn't just, just the one just to ask me. Everybody looked out for everybody. Mm -hmm. if, if, and we had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. We shared a lot of shit. Mm -hmm. And if we did have a beat, like you said, you know, people are like, yo, what you doing? That's what's the name, cousin. Oh, work, my bad chat. Exactly. Let it go. But like exactly. you said, they don't know, they don't know each other. Yeah. It, yeah. It, but they do know each other, they don't know each other. Nobody taking the time to, to bring these kids around each other, let them like, you know, chill with each other or see what, you know, it's going. Yeah. That's why I be like saying, I don't like Paul right now. I don't. Mm -hmm. But I love her. Yeah. But yeah. I don't like, I like it. it. So yeah. when I feel the door, I'm going out. Because this shit don't feel the same. Mm -hmm. Before I can wait to get on. <laughs> yeah. What? On 25th Street, remember what you got up going down 25th Street? Yeah. The Rucker Games, what? Yeah. Crazy. Mm -hmm. 139th Street Big Box. Uh, 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 145th Street Games. Mm -hmm. Come on. King Tower Games. Yeah. You know, we, we hard on Everybody came from Connecticut, PA, exactly. NJ, everywhere to come to be in Harlem. Exactly. No matter yeah. all. And not only that, we also trendsetters at home. Exactly. You know, yeah. we um we start a lot of things, not just in our clothing, but the music that we listen to, the um the drinks that we drink. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. You know, yeah. in Harlem, Harlem we we have always set the tone in a pace. For other places. Well, like you, like you said, the midnight cookout. The midnight cookout. Oh, man. Yeah. We, should, yes, we should stay up at 5 in the morning on the stoop just talking. Yeah. Like, then it's 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. remember, remember break night? When last time yeah. you go night? They said, who, 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 who been the first? You know, everybody had the wild stuff on the stage. Yeah, yeah. They start pillowing up, be too no, sad. They be there oh, last but I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Two years ago, I broke night with me, Critter, and a couple of other people sat on my block. And we broke night till like nine o'clock in the morning. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, yeah. but see, that's why this yeah. is a break. Yeah. That's why this is a break. Like I morning. tell people it's a difference. Yeah. I don't count if we in a club and this club ends at four, and then we go to an after hour spot. I don't count that break the day. I count break yeah. the day like it's, you said and you yeah. said. It's on the block. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So block. That's yeah. 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 so block. That's that's sitting out there, just laying this drum, talking, telling stories. Yes. Eating whatever, and then that's you know like yeah, yeah, yeah that's breaking you know, day. That's yeah, like yeah, playing yeah, spades. Yeah, 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 that's breaking day. Yeah. So, um, what started you into into this business? Well, I'm gonna be honest with you, Peter. I've always had so many ideas mm -hmm. growing up. Um, unfortunately, when I was young, my parents. Um, told me, oh, oh, you can't do that. You can't do that. So they stunted a lot of my growth. Mm -hmm. 
once I got older, um, I took a detour in life. You know, life happens, but mm -hmm. you know, thank God I got back on the right track. Mm -hmm. um, I knew, I always knew I wanted to be an author. Mm -hmm. So I wrote my children's book, okay. Prada and Page. Yeah, this um, great. There's a book, um, and it, it talks about the difference between a city dog and the dog in the Pocono. Oh, wow. Um, this book is just the introduction of the characters, but mm -hmm. all my children's books are going to be about, um, you know, doing good deeds and, you know, being neighborly and stuff like that. So I wrote that. Mm -hmm. And then, um, afterwards I wrote this book of short stories, Untitled Pain. Mm -hmm. It's a book of short stories about women in the midst of their own personal storms in life mm -hmm. and how they overcome through their faith in God. Mm -hmm. But I know that I want to be a worker, mm -hmm. but I love to cook. Mm -hmm. I really love to cook. I'm not trying to brag, but I really believe I make some meal so full. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on, it's a whole bunch of black women that know how to cook. Right. But some people just don't like to cook. I have a love for cooking, mm -hmm. and I like to feed people. Mm -hmm. So that's what made me start my, um, my catering business. I started it in 2007. In 2019, I converted it from just the Mo Better Management and Catering to Mo Better Management and Catering LLC. Mm -hmm. But because I also like to help people, when the management part, well, I'm a tax professional also. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I, I prepare taxes. I help people prepare their LLCs. Mm -hmm. I'm a notary public. Mm -hmm. You know, I try to influence, especially youths, to... Um, you know, open up their own businesses mm -hmm. because there might be somebody like me whose parent is telling them, no, you can't do that. You're dreaming too big. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I want to be that voice for them to say, you could do it. You could do it. Mm -hmm. And what I often hear from a lot of the um, young ladies that I work with is, oh, Monique or Aunt Mo, so and so do that and I can't do it. No, just because one person, everybody yeah. can, can yeah. do it. Right. Pepsi Cola and Coca Cola has been sharing the same refrigerator all my life. Mm -hmm. They both billion dollar business. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, we can all make money. It's mm -hmm. enough money for, and nothing is wrong with friendly competition. It just makes you grind harder. That's all. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. A lot of people. So I see this book head has 58 pages, a lot of short stories. Mm -hmm. I think these books like this, for the most part, Nowadays, when you got the, um, when you can read mm -hmm. uh, books through the phone, when mm -hmm. the people are actually buy books, mm -hmm. I think it's smart by doing like 50, mm -hmm. like short um, amount of pages. Mm -hmm. This way somebody read it. Mm -hmm. Like right now, it's like, all right, I need to stay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Opposed to back in the days, you got three, 400 pages. Like, exactly. So now it get people more to read it because it's a lot of competition. Like, mm -hmm. they're going to read newspaper no more because they're going to be home. Mm -hmm. Same thing like books. I got the audio books now. Yeah. So I but this, this is, is also smart. available in e as an e-book. It's an e-book? Yeah, okay. both of them are also available as an e-book. Yeah, so, good. check it out. LuluPublishing.com Title Pain. Amazon. Um, BarnesandNobles.com They're available there as well. Yes, you yeah. Hulu. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you're right. A lot of people like to read, and it, that frightens me mm -hmm. lately. Even a post, uh, people will not read the post to the end. You know how they have that um, funny post that goes around where a person is like, oh, my credit score is 850. I'm buying a house in Greece and so and so. But it's, if you read to the end, you see that they say, I don't know who post this is, but I'm wishing for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. So many people I see comment on those posts like, oh, congratulations. Or <laughs> yeah. fam you know, family members, <laughs> right. let me hold something, sis. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. because they don't they really read yeah. 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 Really, it, It's sad. People yeah. really don't like to read. So you so shout out to the readers out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> readers for the middle. Yeah. Yeah. So look, so you made it more better management LLC because you didn't want to box yourself into one business because you have multiple businesses. Exactly. You got caught yes. on to that. Yeah. So you got all these the books. Yeah. You got you got this. Yeah. You got the taxes. Mm -hmm. You got the credit. Whatever you the do, Notary everything Republic. is under Notary Republic yeah. is going on. That's that's smart. Yeah. yeah. So what made you come up with that idea? Because I think I could do everything. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, to be honest yeah, yeah. I, I think I could do everything. And so 
um, I, you know, I said, I, I don't want it to just be catering. And um, I still want to manage someone, an mm -hmm. artist. I don't have an artist oh, yet. Basically? Yeah. Okay. So I put that on there in the beginning because I just wanted to put that out there. Mm -hmm. you know? And then everything else fell um, into play. Now, recently, I just founded um, the East Side Consortium of Entrepreneurs. Incorporated. Mm -hmm. Vera is um, one of our members, mm -hmm. and um, in addition to doing community outreach in East Harlem, mm -hmm. we're also going to do financial literacy. Mm -hmm. You know, investing, banking, um, debt consolidation. Mm -hmm. We're going to offer these programs. The financial literacy is big. Yeah. yeah, guys, a lot of people don't understand what financial literacy is. They need to check it out because. You need financial literacy in order to, to, to mm -hmm. succeed yeah. in anything you're trying to venture off into. Yeah. And this program is also um, offered to children as well. Yeah. We want to target the age group. He liking that, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. We, we want to target the age group of um, that, that 10 to 15 year old right there. We want to target that range, but it's open to everybody, regardless of race, creed, sexual orientation, or whatever. But um, I want to focus on that. If we can target those 10-year-olds, the 15-year-olds, and get them into banking and investing and um, credit cons um, consolidation, I think that we could really move our community ahead, mm -hmm. you know? I see... A lot what you're doing is definitely about helping like entrepreneur everything is like entrepreneurs you also do like pop-up shops that been uh, successful how long have you been doing pop-up shop well i just started in january we held our first um pop-up shop january 9th um at east space noir and um i'm seems like i'm a partner with her that's going to be like one of our regular places and um we have 10 um, entrepreneurs from the east side and they come out and they sell their wares. Everyone has been doing well, so we're going to continue to do it. Yeah, mm -hmm. you did a few of them, like three or four. I think yeah. it's, it's good, like you said, everybody been making money. Mm -hmm. And it also inspires people. Exactly. You know, because when they see they actually making some money, yeah. it, it makes them keep going. And this is, what, this is what my goal is, to let people know that just like we can do it, you can do it. You know, I want to see everybody win. You know, that's, you know, yeah, I want to make money in the end, but my goal is to see everybody win. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. God got me, I'm going to be blessed anyway. Exactly, so, yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 But we have been really successful with that, and um, I'm really proud of that. You know, mm -hmm. no one from the east side has done that, so I wanted to be, you know, that one. And then, I, I'm pretty sure... They start branching up, maybe people on the west side can get in. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to take some people from the get, west side. We get bigger, oh. get bigger venues. You know, I grew up on the west side. Yeah, I can't west side. I can't. West side. I can't. I can't. I can't. Because, you know, <laughs> you know, it's west side, we don't do east side. <laughs> yeah, come on. I mean, yeah. I'm a traditional. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe not now. Yeah. But back in the day, we don't, we don't do, we yeah. don't do these side unless we got a situation we got to do mm -hmm. a game or yeah, something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But my my question is, why did you, you being that you're from the west side, why did you start on the east side? Okay, well, I moved over, well, my parents moved in um, 1775 houses in 1980. That's by AK, because, yeah. you know, AK's a bigger name. Oh, okay, next to AK. Watching. Uh, okay. They don't know the building. And um, I lived there for two years before I moved to 140th Street. Then from 140th Street, I moved um, to 7th Avenue, 2321 7th Avenue. Let me shout them out. Uh -huh. But anyway... <laughs> Um, so I was on the east side after my parents passed. I took over their apartment, and I, you know, and I see that they weren't doing the same things that we were doing on the west side. Mm -hmm. Like we were having fish fries on Fridays, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know. Everybody like, and it took turns. It wasn't a problem. If right. your grandmother did a fish fry this Friday, right. no problem. We all supported his grandmother. Right, right. And your grandmother's turn was next. Yeah. And mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. we got to throw in that the pity pack game. Yeah, yeah, the pity pack. 
but <laughs> we supported each other so that everybody could. Yes. I was like, yeah. But see, like they were, they, they were been doing that stuff. They were doing that They were doing that stuff. Like, 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 it mostly like the West Side. And yeah. Then we think East Side first, it'd be like they think Spanish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then like the brothers, they think like Spanish Harlem because you know they had they was a lot of Spanish brothers doing their thing. Yeah. And then they think, but you know, a lot of West Side was mostly, you know, doing a lot of different things. Like the streets yeah. was more, everybody went to the West to Side. To the West Side. To because they hung on Lennox. But East Side was predominantly Spanish back then. Yeah. It, exactly. You know what I'm saying? And, filthy, yeah. and some filtered in black. <coughs> you know? Yes. Yeah. Harlem on the West Side was straight black. black. Straight black. And the Spanish people who in Harlem didn't come past St. Nick. That's true. They were sitting it to Broadway. They didn't go past. They didn't come down that. on the avenue. Mm -hmm. yeah. They didn't yeah. have stores and all that. Yeah. They yeah. weren't doing all that. <laughs> the Chinese there was no bodegas on Lennox. Now they yeah. weren't doing no more. Nah, because I know when we first started seeing bodegas, my man used to get, I used to get a fitting out of here on that movie. What the hell is the hell is doing in the hall? He used to get bent out of your chair, chair. They opened up a business. We ain't opened up a yeah. business. So they bought, we can't get mad at them. But yeah, so. You know, that's all it was, little sex separated at one time, and, and it stayed like that. Yeah. One time we really went over there to go get some work. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And then we come back, but. Yeah. yeah but so, you know another thing about the West Side that um, I applaud? You know, I can be honest, we from the streets. That's yeah. right. I see that a lot of brothers that I grew up with from the West Side, they put money back into their blocks. You could you could walk past and be like, oh, that's Kenny's store, or <clears throat> that's so-and-so barbershop, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. I don't see that on the East Side. Nah. I don't see that on the East Side. They, you, you, walk, <coughs> you walk there on the block for years, and yeah, yeah, yeah. When, there's nothing to show for yeah, it. You nah. can't say, Kareem got this nah. on the East Side. East side I want to change that. Yeah, yeah, you, I want to change that. So that's... Um, Another reason behind my East Side Entrepreneurs Incorporated. I want to change that. You know, I want these young guys coming up like, what are you out here for at the end of the day? Mm -hmm. It should be a means to your end. I mean, an end to your means. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So you have a, like, like a, a community room or something you're doing? Well, you doing? we're in the process of acquiring one now. Okay. I'm partnering with, um, oh my goodness, I'm going to get their name wrong. I, I'm not even going to say it right now because so I'm going to get the name. Sure. I'm partnering with, with <laughs> someone right now. Yeah. We have a, an event um, coming up on June 9th where we're giving out new underwear and hygiene products mm -hmm. to um, homeless and whoever else needs mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. So we're doing that on June 9th, um, 3 p.m. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, but, you know, I just want to help the, the community. And like I said, it all comes before because of what I saw and what I was taught growing up on the West Side. There you go. You know? Yeah. All the blocks on the West Side. Yeah. We, we stuck together. Yeah. You know, like I said, community, mm -hmm. entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. I mean, even if you had an icy car, freight mm -hmm. stand, mm -hmm. they were doing something on the West Side, and I just don't see if people put their money mm -hmm. into something. Yeah. 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 Yeah, the East Side, to be honest with you, hasn't changed much if you still go over there. It still has the same feeling. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know? I'm looking to change that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking to change that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, once I go to East Side, I just start doing like this all the time. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, right? Um, we had um, Mr. Mr. Comet on the show. So, me be, after the show, we know we always go out. So, like, he's like, stop. He ain't staying long. <laughs> We got Victor. We went to, where that spot we went to? On the east side? Some spot on the corner of down the block from, um... Like 116th somewhere. Carlos, down the block from Carlos. We'd be out. in? What'd you say? We in and out. We ain't gonna be in I ain't doing this thing. Got one drink, let's get a bottle. Yeah. Hey, what's no, going on, man? Yeah. It's different. Hey, everybody looking at us, you know, we chilling. You know? Trust me, I can go on any block I'm with. It ain't like that. Yeah. It's the fact that they just... It's just different. I'm not even gonna say nothing bad or good about it. It's different. It ain't my flow. I just don't. It's just. It's, 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 you can tell. It's like to me, they they just the little was always a little bit under us. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not. That's how I felt. 
East side. Everybody's I mean, let's go to the East Let's go to the East Let's go downtown. Let's do Midtown. Mm-hmm. When you go to, to East, whatever mm-hmm. on the East side, even in the, the rich areas, it's different on all the East, not just Harlem. All the East is different. You know what I'm saying? So you're saying, so if, if you say it that, you want to say that all the Upper West is different. Yes. we. They always say the West Side the best side. <laughs> I heard that when I was growing up. We used to say that. We used to say that when when I was growing up. But as an East Sider and getting East Side um, support and loving my East Side, I'm sorry. We we leveling up. We leveling up. I'm saying. We leveling up. I'm the East Side. Yeah, I love the East Side. I played ball. A lot of my own homies is from the East Side. Jefferson Johnson. Uh, you know, even like guys AK, you know, I play ball with, you know what I'm saying? Like Shabu and different people, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, I, I played a lot of, a lot of um, ball and stuff out there. So, you know, it, it definitely always been love, you know what I'm saying? Who the best player you came against from the East Side? Basketball player. I'd say, um, probably my man Rock. He, he from um, Jefferson. Oh, okay. He, he from Jefferson. I think he locked up now. Yeah, he was a beast. He was, he was good. Yeah, it, they had a couple. They had, no, my, probably my man Kenny Hutch. I said Kenny Hutch. Oh, Kenny Hutch was it. Kenny Hutch from uh, Wagner. Yeah, from Wagner. From Wagner. From Wagner. I said they Kenny still Hutch. have the, 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 the every the every year they have they a joint for him. Yeah, it's strong. Yeah, Kenny, Kenny Hutch. I said we always. I used to be over there. You know what I'm saying? When I was young, playing ball and stuff like you know, different playing ball and stuff. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He sounds good money, but I I, I know what he's saying like. The, the West, it's like the type of guy. Most of the time, like most East Side guys is more on some rah rah more than the West Side. The West Side is more. Yeah, the we used to want to The West Side is more. Yeah, we used to want to The East Side guys more like, if you, like, mostly like, you go like stores, let's just say back in the days. Dudes gonna watch you make sure they ain't creeping. But back to that, it's like, all right, like saying you walk with your girl or something, and you go into a store or something, and it's like, you no, know, guys ain't on the corner, they're like, just watch you. To make sure you ain't creeping up on them. But after that, it's like, all right. But sometimes he's like, like no one they can jump you and stuff like that. Like, you know, it ain't like that, though. It's always been more a little wilder than the West Side. Like, with the, like that type of, yeah, Ron, don't you think, me? Like, it's always been a little more wilder. Yeah, like, wilder, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the West Side more, like, calm, more chill. When you heard it's a problem, you knew, most of the time, drug, drug lady. Oh, he took it. To, it ain't no random stuff. You just have to clear who dudes get beat up. It never happened like that. But, but I know they got all the beautiful girls like, on the east side. They got some fine nah. women in the east side. Yes. Yeah, they do, they the west side. The west side used to come through the east side all the time. Yeah, the east side got like my little nieces, little sisters, the Spanish girls. The east side had a lot of Spanish people. Yeah, and um, you know the black girls too. See, the thing is, it doesn't more like he said predominantly Spanish. So a lot of black guys on the west side and east side like more clicked up and more than you know what I'm saying? The Spanish guys sometimes was like kind of you know what I'm saying. When I was growing up, we said that well, like I said, I grew up on the west side, but we said that the west side had all the best looking dudes, and we could admit that the east side had some beautiful women. We could do that with with no hate or being in our blood. Yeah, I agree yeah. with that. I don't. I don't know. Yeah. I just say both sides had the women, but the West Side dudes was, you know, we just, we had the We had a swag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had the swag. You know, we had the joints. We, we, come on. You know, over the East Side dudes, like, a lot of them was like, kind of like, rough, cruddy, got high, you know, didn't have nothing on their mind type of feel when you go around. Mm-hmm. Now, don't wrong. Yeah, a lot of dudes East Side getting money. money. Yeah. There were a small yeah. percentage compared but the thing to the West is, Side. They, but they, like, a lot of guys East Side getting money. Like, I know a lot of dudes these guys get for some way. Like, it's money. Yeah. It's money. 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 Mm-hmm. We got love for these. Uh, That's how we talk about young people. We feel like young is different. Yeah, we feel like mm-hmm. young is different. So, yeah. Now this is different. Yes. Every if you think about it, every place, 
like now it seems more the same. Like like before, like all these guys now, like it's gangs. So no matter if East Side or West Side, it's gangs. Yeah, all that's that sad. Me, shooting and that stuff. Really does. See, back then it was more like everybody, like, like you could tell they're from Brooklyn or Bronx, Queens. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody was just like different. Well, you all New York right. dudes, right. but it, it just was different. You could just feel like, he, like you know what I'm saying? You feel, okay, even like certain parts of it. Like even like in California, certain like East Side, West Side guys, you know, it's just different. I guess, yeah. you know, slang and different things like that. Yeah, same way but Baltimore, same way Baltimore, DC. Yeah, West Side, Baltimore, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 same way too. Yeah. You know, yeah, dude, a lot of Spanish live in the North, right? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. So different sides, we haven't got a different fit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, just how it is everywhere. Not just all. And it's a shame because we yeah, all have Alan the same struggles. We all have the same struggles. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe one day we can all be united. No, I think, it, I you know, think to be honest, and I'm not just talking about East and West. I'm just talking about us as as a people. Yeah. We really have to do better as a people. Like even with investing and spending our money, like it doesn't. Like everybody wants to be fly. You want to look nice. You want to have a nice house and everything. But at the end of the day, I hate to see when a young man gets locked up, get incarcerated. And then he don't have a stash or no money yeah, in his that's, bank that's account to, to meet his lifestyle. Yeah, he called then, home for money. Then now you got to call on, <laughs> to go see this one, ask yeah, him for yeah, 10000 yeah, exactly. see if this one will give me 10000 Should be less than yeah, that. Yeah, because especially with Only twenty five hundred. They make the lifestyle calls. people living now, put that money into some cryptocurrency. Yeah. You Open believe in cryptocurrency? You believe in that? Oh, yeah. I, 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 I invest in that. I invest in it too. But, but I, I'm, I'm upset about this week. We've been down a lot. Did you a Dogecoin? Dogecoin, Ethereum. Um, um, yeah, me too. Uh, and hey, Bitcoin. Me. And I just oh, I just started. They started a new one called Internet. You got to drink and watch coin. Oh, yeah. good. <laughs> you let the world, that's when you mess, you mess with the stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. yeah. They have a new um, cryptocurrency called Internet Computer that's doing... Well, it's you know, I bought into it at a hundred and something dollars this year. It's up to two hundred, but it had hit six hundred and went down. But everything is like in a slump right now. But it's going to turn around. You like cryptocurrency? Yeah, I've been looking into it. Oh, okay. You got to get you some. Yeah, I, I got like four. I got one of my clients had an internet, mm -hmm. so you know, they walking me through. Quite a few things, you know. Oh, okay. Cool. And I'm I'm gonna ride their wave because they wave is crazy right now. Oh, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Stay to jump in with this. Yeah. This, this is what I say. Don't ask me no questions. Yeah. I got you. Yeah. So yeah. I go with them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then from there, I built from there. Because mm -hmm. they gonna walk me through. But they show me that they show me how they how the money's flowing. Mm -hmm. Just be just give me that. Yeah. And I know they good for it, so I'm running with that at the same yeah. time asking questions. I'm coming visual. Mm -hmm. You can tell me something, I'll get it to them. Mm -hmm. You show me, I got it. I yeah. got it. Like, once I yeah. see it, mm -hmm. you ain't got to show me no more. Yeah. And I'm learning like that, though. Yeah. I've, been, I've been on time of that. Oh, okay. That's yeah. the way of the future you got. You got to stay with the time. Exactly. And I, 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 I have my own opinion about money. I believe that money is soon going to be obsolete. Yeah, it is. I believe. I, I also believe that's why they're giving away so much money. they just spending it all until the minute. Until the mint is empty. Then they're gonna say, Oh, you need this or you need that. Yep. So I would like to be ahead. So yeah. So in your program you're gonna be teaching the kids that? Yes. Well actually I'm gonna hire someone to do that. Because I'm you know, I'm still learning. You know, I know about the stock market and stuff like Financial that. But I'm gonna put in yeah. professionals yeah, that, that, speak, that yeah. really know right. how to talk the language. So they are gonna be with you on on a day to day basis or they're gonna be coming in. Like different times. We probably do like programs every two weeks because we're gonna have it broken up into so many other programs. You know, like I said, we're gonna have banking, investing, debt consolidation. So like we probably have it flowing every two weeks. So we'll be a meeting. So with these books, did you go hand in hand try some books also besides um, online? Um, I sell them mostly through my book signings and pop up shops. Yeah, anybody yeah. That's how you do it. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes and I put, some, I put some in my bag. You get a segment of, of one of your events where you need somebody to come and talk about health and fitness. 
I'll come in. Oh, okay, I'm gonna hold you to that too. Well, well, you gotta come to the east side though, Vito. <laughs> 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 you wanna hear something funny? I got my head cut on 116th Street in in Lexington. Right. In in in, in uh in third. So don't get it twisted. All right. All right. I'm right. talking right. Right. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. My man on the east. East. My, I'm on the east side. My man don't speak English. I'm like Poppy. You know how they got your head. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out. It's funny, right? <laughs> you know how they got the diagrams and different cuts? Yeah. I point to the one I want. I said, yeah. Bobby, this one, this one. He said, eat it. That's it. We don't talk. Yeah. <laughs> you know? We don't talk. I just pay him and that's it. And he smiled because he don't speak English. Yeah. But, but he good with it. He nice. I only did that because my west side barber fronted on me. And my man said, yo, I know this barber. The east side. I said, east side. He said, he said go. He, he nice, man. But they didn't give me the guy that 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 my man get cut. They sent me the homeboy. He don't speak English. But Poppy's the nicest, he's a master Bobby, the nicest one in there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I'm on each side. Yeah. It's, it's a lot of good things. So he's gonna do his training, he's gonna do his training. Yeah, but I would come through and I would come through and I'll, you know, share. I help. I like doing yeah. stuff like that. Exactly. You know? Yeah, I would like that. Yeah. And you know about um It's called giving back. Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. And what about uh, nutrition? I know everything. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, that's that's, that's, that's my company. company. This is my company. Sir, health is health wealth. Is wealth. Health is wealth. Exactly. Incorporated. Mm -hmm. You know, this yeah. is my company. Yeah. So I'm giving out shirts and all that. I'm just, I bought a bunch of shirts. Let my shirt down. I got one for you in my car. Oh, for okay. real. I mean, okay. I, okay. I got one for, you know, fam and all that. But I'm giving out shirts. So I'm not yeah. selling them. I'm yeah. giving them mm -hmm. You know, you might see on Instagram, you've seen a couple of mm -hmm. people wearing them already. And then later on, I'm going to do, I got some other things I'm about to do. Though. Oh, okay. Cool. You know, but, yeah. Cool. That's good. I took so it you, to you do the drinks, you mix um, drinks. So and also, I have a I also invest in a supplement company, so I get I get the supplements and get everything. Oh, okay. That's all it took okay. to this though. All right. So it's a movement going on right now. Okay, yeah. yeah. And the reason I came up with it because you know everybody know I grew up in as a trainer. I got twenty years doing everything. It ain't about me. It's about you right now. I'm making sure. But I said I want to do something different. I knew everything that every gym is doing. Mm. So what I'm doing now is I got my own company, but I got trainers that I send out to different clients. Mm -hmm. Cause I don't want to be doing this well. Mm -hmm. So I got I build up, I build up the clientele. I send trainers out to different clients and I charge them a percentage and I hit the trainer off yeah. and I just rock. Yeah. It's all That's online. Yeah. So it's no overhead, no, I don't need no gym or nothing. Mm -hmm. I send them out and they move. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of trainers who got the skill, but they don't have the clients. Mm -hmm. I get clients like this because everybody knows mm -hmm. real fast. Mm -hmm. So but I'm gonna send them to certain people if you specialize in certain things. But right now, I'm just building up, just putting the brand out there. Yeah. That's why I go over there and I talk, especially the kids, man, you know? Because a lot of kids with childhood obesity, there's a lot going on out here, you know? Yes. A lot of little kids, I train little yeah. kids too. A lot of little kids don't move how we used to move, man. Yeah. Lazy, even five push How do you feel about the eating fast <laughs> yeah. food? You know what I'm saying? Lazy. They lazy, you know what I'm saying? But I know how to motivate them because I got three sons and I was a, and I was a young boy. And they like me, you know what I'm saying? But back to you, if you want me to come back, I'm going to rock with you. How do you feel about children eating um, fast food? I don't have a problem with it. It's all, everything you do should be in moderation. Mm -hmm. I eat fast food. Doc eat fast food. I Cash eat fast, fast food. food. Yep. You just got to you gotta work out. Yep. We play ball. We never, I, I ate McDonald's, Burger King, but you know what? We yeah. playing five scrimmages of basketball. Yeah, That's we ate everything, the everything we wanted. You running. That's exercise. Yeah. You're doing something. These kids are doing this. Exactly. So they're not burning off. Mm -hmm. I'm dying to go outside and play. Mm -hmm. They don't want to go outside and play. They want to go in the room mm -hmm. to, to play. play. That's why the fast food is killing them. Yeah. Yes. It ain't mm -hmm. the fast food. But that's all we all knew was fast food. Right. Even my while we was getting Megatron. I had no pots in the crib. My mother was gone. Mm -hmm. So I had to see. Yeah, yeah, it's food. I'm out. <laughs> what do we do? <laughs> Growing up, fast food was a tuna fish sandwich for me. Right. Peter Bunny like, Joe. Yeah, we bologna, spice ham. Bologna, right? Yeah, spice ham. Yeah. Steak. But we turned out the right though, right? Yeah. So why they can't turn out the right? We just get need to get more motivated. We gotta get it's out. Crazy, I, I, I think, I don't know. I just don't care for it. Once in a while, but I don't care for some it. kids are eating fast food every, every day. single day. That's their parents, so they can the kids. Yeah, yeah. It's the My parents. Made, you have got to have greens on your plate. Mm -hmm. Or you just sit down and yeah. eat your vegetables. Mm -hmm. What happened to that? Some parents are fine with buying them fast food, go to your room just to mm -hmm. get them out of their head. Yeah. And they can, so they, can so they could do this. Go ahead, turn the game on. So they could do this. Mm -hmm. Now I can go in there and they can do my thing. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's not cool. At all. You got to teach your kid. You got to spend time with your kid. Mm-hmm. You got to you got to do your kid right. Cause if you don't do it right, when they gonna learn it? You know what I'm saying? That's right. Hey, you know. We got fast food. My sons got fast food on the weekends. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah. Like as as a, a reward. You know, you can have some. You got them down for the day. But you want to eat a home cooked meal yeah, Friday, Monday through Friday. Friday. You know, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a little different. What about you with your kids? How often do they eat fast food? I try to do like like what he said. Probably try to make like twice a week. No, oh, okay. Because it'd be hard. You don't want to cook every day. Then it's like three times. So it depends. Like doing the traveling, yeah. you yeah. picking up from school. It's like right there. We used to have the Mammy Jammies when we was young. <laughs> oh, Mammy Jammies. The Mammy Jammies was crazy. Yeah, yeah. 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 But my yeah. thing is this, as far as you know, anything dealing with fitness, you can get away with eating a lot of stuff if you work out. Mm-hmm. If you play ball, if you play basketball, if you play baseball, if you play soccer. You know, you was active. No, but it's true because we had the Indo champ here. So I asked him, I was like, yo, when I'm trying to die, he said, what? He said, eat. You know what he told me? He said, eat. He said, I don't know why people think that I tell eating you once a all day. The time. He said, no, Every eat. four hours. He said, well, you're working out. Yeah. He said, that's the key. Yeah. And what you eat, like, in moderation. Yeah. Moderation, and, and you got to exercise. exercise. Everybody don't work out. No. But I'm saying, but. Basketball is a workout. Baseball is a workout. Walk. Track and field. Dance is a workout. Soccer, dancing. You got to have some type of activity where you're moving. You know what you understand? And that's what the kids don't do now. We didn't have all them video games they had then. We had to go to the arcade. Remember that mm-hmm. arcade? When the quarters ran out, mm-hmm. they, you can take your ass back home. You know, you ain't got no more money. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But these kids got... The graphics on these joints, I see why they go on Facebook. <laughs> the graphics is crazy. Yo. The kids be like, yo. You know, but at the end of the day, they're not getting no exercise, mm-hmm. man. They stand in the house a lot. Yeah. And you know, a lot of these kids are, are real tech heads. They, they good on the computers and all that, too. So a lot of their stuff is, is this or this. Yeah. Yeah. And they get getting fat. Oh, yeah. They sitting yeah. around and getting fat. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it just got to be active. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's that's you don't have to be able to get back to in, in the community and, and doing things. A lot of people talk it, mm-hmm. you know, say, you know, they for the community, but that's good that you're doing it. Doing something I tell people all the time, I like how you're doing it first. Like you said, you're starting with the the east side, you got the east side slime up. Oh man, I'm gonna sauce right uh-huh. now. Uh-huh. He's feeling it. There you go. <laughs> slime, slime, you know. And like you said, you're doing the community room and then you do the uh pop up shops and different things. I tell people that when people have a, a focus, I right, I'm do right here. Mm-hmm. It's easy. Mm-hmm. You try to be like trying to be all over the place. Mm-hmm. It's hard. A lot of people ask me that, but it works for me. Like um, I want to interject for a min- minute. Um, Vito, I just did something <clears throat> along with art in the park on um, what day was that? May twenty first. Mm-hmm. It wasn't, I can't remember the date, but I just recently did an event with, um, I partnered with Art in the Park, and we did Family Day, mm-hmm. and we just invited the kids out to, you know, have, you know, because kids have been in the house, and that bothers me, mm-hmm. so we just invited the kids and the parents out, and, you know, we played Relay Racing, Double Dutch, Scalzies, um, who, who, you know, who loops, you know, things to get them act, active. The turnout wasn't what I expected. I thought it was going to be better, but everyone that came out, you know, was like, wow, you know, this was really, really nice. I, you know, I hope you do it again sometime. You know, we had That's great. healthy snacks. You just, you, just gave me, you just brought me back to my childhood. Yeah. Kick the can. Yeah. Hot piece of butter. Yeah. We always play games, yeah. man. Yeah. That's, that's the reason why we burn the food. Yeah. I like that. That's a good idea. Like, mm-hmm. you know, um, um, 
Oh, the relay racing and different yeah. things. Yeah. It's like a mini Olympics. Mm-hmm. Like you have a park exactly. and you have different entities of the games. Yeah. They bring back a lot of old games. We we we, we, so we we also we, we wasn't like game one block, but we had block against block, basketball, mm-hmm. block against block, stickball, yeah. football, football, yeah. block against block. Mm-hmm. It was all fun. And all fun. We, we all got along. At the end of the game, everybody still got along. We always active doing something. Yeah. Bring a radio. Mm-hmm. Bring a radio. You know, catch one. Yeah. Catch yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Spin the bottle. Spin yeah. the bottle. Yeah. There's always something going on. 7 Eleven. Yeah, 7 Eleven. Red Rover, Red Rover. Skeleton. Same over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That, that, I think that we, the beat, we should definitely get into that, bring the kids one day and introduce them to the games. Yeah, we yeah. Have. somebody got to teach them. Yeah. Somebody yeah. told yeah. us I they're going to get a different idea. Yeah, exactly. Because they ain't doing that. Hey, nothing, yeah. man. Nothing. Then we play a game like a game. Like, like you said, Red Rover, yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo. About that. yeah. 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 All the fun stuff that we don't, that we overlook right now, that we had it going on when we came mm-hmm. up, man. Just playing basketball on the crates. In the crates. Yeah. Yeah. Seven, 700,000 yeah. people we hit the joint. We played on the garbage like, can. Uh, the garbage can. The garbage can. Yeah. Yeah. The garbage can be over there. You got to shoot over the nigga head and go in the garbage can. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we, we, the, the fire escape that come down. Fire escape, yeah. Yep. yeah. yeah. <laughs> we throw played basketball. Yeah. Yeah. In the summertime, you play from 8 o'clock in the morning, coming out your house. Oh, it's the time to go. Yeah. Man, we played with the snow. We yeah. sweep the, a broom and swept the, the, the snow off the ground and mm-hmm. played with gloves and coats mm-hmm. on. Yes. What? Yes. That's how we grew up. Yeah. West Hall. Mm-hmm. That's how we grew up. <laughs> that's how we grew up. Keeping it real, right? This, that's the kids right now. They, they need to, we need to bring this back mm-hmm. because... That's the reason why they yeah. obese. That's why they lazy. Yeah. They don't want to do nothing. They, 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 they do have to make fun things for them to do to burn off that right. energy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Like, come on. They, yeah. but that, they really that's good. Like, if you do it, um, I guess the beat, we, you know, we, are, we also a media company. Bring our cameras one. We can make a big event. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Kids bring back. Let them see their You got to take them to a nice park with, yeah. with, with clean. They can move around like a yeah. Central Park. Yeah, big park. You know what I'm saying? Like a oh, Riverside. Side, West Side Highway. West Side Highway where people come over. Everybody got whips. Throw a bunch of kids in the car. Mm-hmm. But 4th Fifth Park is big. Huh? Yeah. 4th Fifth Park is big. Yeah, yeah. the back, man. You, know, you can take them over there, too. But you know what I'm saying, though? You can move around. And, y'all, um, hold on, y'all naming a lot of um, West Side parks. Yeah, it's, it's parks on the East Side now. Don't forget. Yeah, it's bridges <laughs> and stuff over there. No, 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 we don't. No, we don't. They clean out West Side Park. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Yo, I'm not even man. Be Ain't nothing like Lexington on 116th Street, man. That changed this year. No, on 125th. No, on 125th. Yeah, 125th. Ain't nothing like that. Ain't nothing like that. 125th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, we haven't been on 125th on Lexington. Yeah, I haven't been on 125th on Lexington. 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 Yeah, back in the day, seven Oh yeah, that's true. No, I don't remember. Back in the day, they walk like this. They do. They walk like this. They do. Word. When I was younger, but he's not. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. Because you had a car on 116th Street. On 16th. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? Because no, I had family in, uh, in Johnson. I love you. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. The project. Yeah, that's what my aunt is. In my family. Yeah, I have family on 11th floor. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, 11th like floor. Still, my my people live on 11th floor. My Johnson. uncle live up the block from 11th and H. In so I got family over there. So I know about over there. But I, I never used to like going when I went to see them. 
Cause it's like, you know, they just shit is different, man. But but they got a lot of money in the, they got money on the east. I don't give a wrong. Mm-hmm. And they have some cute chances yeah. and shit like yeah. that. They just, like just needs to know how to direct it. Yeah. And you know what I've also found that a lot of community organizations on the east side receive these monies from these politicians and these developers and they don't do anything with the community well the community in which my children reside where i'm from i don't see it i don't see the toys the free turkeys Mm -hmm. the you know community i feel the east side too i go over there i've been moving over there a lot of White folks is moving in and they they, they buying shit up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're trying to yeah. move people out yeah. of the east side. And these, real. and these east side they do it the west, but they do more than east. Getting these cutbacks from these developers, but yeah. they're not doing anything with in the community. Yeah. I believe that they're set up to fail. I want to change that. Yeah. I believe that they're setting them up to yeah. fail. I also believe that you you ever watched the show The Wire? Yeah. You remember the last season of The Wire? They had Amsterdam where they told them everybody go over there and you can hustle all you want and we're not going to arrest them. I really believe that's what they did with the East Side mm. because out of nowhere it's just infiltrated with a whole bunch of things yeah. and, 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 and drug addicts and I really in my heart believe that like it's not safe to go to the store on 125th and Lexington by yourself at a, no. certain, at a certain time. No, it's not. Yeah. Especially on 16th Street. He <laughs> don't go to that 16th Street. Let yeah. me tell you. Yeah. Right, listen. <laughs> on 116th Street in Lexington, mm-hmm. the cop called me sitting there and they don't care. Yeah, they yeah. do the same thing on 125th and Lexington. They don't care. Yeah. Yeah, they don't care. Mm-hmm. They still do it. They yeah. do it in front of them. Yeah. And the cops don't yeah. even get out. They don't even want to touch it because yeah. they're nasty. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They want to touch them, dude. No. Like, I, ain't, I, ain't, I ain't touching them. I ain't touching them. The other, you know what a couple of weeks ago, I did. But before you can get in the way of you, you got to yeah. pass by all the Ooh. things. It's filthy Ooh. out there. And I say to the cop, Don can't do nothing about this? Yeah, yeah. What do you say? He said that he was there to watch the store. He want to make sure that they don't they don't come in the store. Yeah. 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 So whatever happens on the yeah. outside of that front. Wait, what about going in the train the station? Mm-hmm. Go down to the train station. I yeah. haven't been in the train since the pandemic. No, no, but I mean before the pandemic, I used to go. I used to take the train mm-hmm. and go down certain little yeah. places. You can't touch anything. Hey. Okay. They in the train station is hard yeah. body, mm-hmm. man. Yeah. Trying to get you to buy a two dollar swipe. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You know you know your hood. Yeah. You know your yeah. Hood. yeah. I know my hood. I love my block. I love my block. Anybody. The name of my production company is called I Love My Block Productions. Mm. Yo, you got a lot of great ideas, and I like it. I get that. Yeah, you gonna do. Like, got a good brain. Yeah. Yeah, but just yeah. give you a plug, see your stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know your know. Instagram. Okay. Instagram. Okay. Yes. Yeah. This is Prada and Page. Page visits the um, Pocono Mountain, a very good children's book. A very good children's book. Um, you can reach me at Mo Better Management Catering LLC on IG. I'm also Eastside Slammer on um, Instagram, Facebook. I'm Monique Jones. I'm also Mo Better Management Catering LLC on Facebook. Um, my books are available. Shipping and handling, though. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. We want y'all to support, support um, Mo Better Management. She got a lot going on. She. Oh, but, but wait, wait, wait. <sighs> but you can find me all throughout Harlem, but primarily on the East Side. When you when you want to feel like them and get an East Side Slammer, right. look for me on the East Side. East, east Side, side Slammer, east side Not a West Side Slammer, it's an East, east side, side Slammer. Side slammer. Right. I like the East Side Slammer. <laughs> it's an East Side Slammer thing. Yeah. Exactly. So, Mo, yeah. can you tell them what podcast show you're on right now? Oh, I'm on the B-139. Can you say it one more time? Right here? B-139. B-139. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you guys for having yeah, yeah. me. I really yeah. enjoyed myself. Yeah, enjoy Thank you, you guys for having me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to team up. Exactly. Do something on the fitness Let me side. Know. Let me know. I'm here. We're going to do something with the children. Yes. All okay. right. All right. We're going to do that. I'm all there. That's what God put Yeah. That's how I do it. Shout out to God. Got you. Got you.